By the way, you know, I figured out what was causing the train not to leave the fucking station. I became old Billy Parfait, right? And I went down to this juice shop and they were fucking raving about this, you know, this all natural yogurt with coconut in it. You know, all that probiotic has probiotics in it. This is, you know, this isn't negative biotics. This is positive, pro. This is proactive biotics. You have two kinds of bacteria within your intestinal tract. Shut the fuck up. I put this stuff in them. I couldn't, I couldn't shit for days. I just kept eating it because they, they're down at the juice shack there, right? They kept telling me how healthy it was. And little did, little did I know, I was building like a fucking wall. You know, what's that city there in uh, Greece with all, it's the whole city's just a bunch of white walls. You know, that's what I was building in my stomach. Were you built? I don't know. It's the first thing I thought of. Eh, go fuck yourself, you know. I'd like to see you not shit for three days and try to dance around it and keep it funny. Oh, God. How did I get in this mood? Um, anyways, hold on one second. Hold on. Nancy Reagan died, everybody. She died. And a lot of people were really upset about that, you know. She was a great woman. I'll tell you, you know, made her great, uh, the, the shape she kept herself in, considering her husband had jelly beans all over the fucking place. The fact that she could just say no to those goddamn things, right? She's walking around. There's something about being that skinny, though, after a while, though. It's just like you live for fucking ever, but you just, you're like a bird person, you know? Like if she was my uh, grandmother, I would have built like a giant bird cage that I hung from the ceiling. I'd, just make, I'd make her go in there and perch on it. You know, I'm not opening the door unless you tell me I'm still in the will, Nancy. Or I guess I would say Grandma Reagan. Greggan. Um, all right. This, well, this, this whole podcast has gone off the fucking rails. I'm too goddamn distracted. I'm talking about putting dead first ladies in bird cages. That's not right, is it? He's such a weird fella, that Reagan. Some people you talk to, he single-handedly defeated the Russians. The reality is, didn't he come off the fucking bench and he, did, he hit the last three? You know, the dagger. He put the game away, I would say. You know? By tricking them into thinking that we were actually going to have shit up in outer space to stop their shit from coming over here. You know? That's the weird thing about trying to bomb somebody from the other side of the fucking world. If you're too lazy to fly over, you got to start, you got to shoot them. Remember Robert Parrish's foul shot? You remember the rainbow? That's how you got to do it. You actually got to send it in because of the curvature of the earth. You got to send it fucking up and over. You know what I mean? It's like when you're, you're sitting on the couch and you got a napkin and you want to throw it into a barrel, but your fucking office chair is right there. You, you got to go up and over. You know? They do that with missiles. Somebody actually figured that out. Some, time, some super fucking intelligent scientist guy, right? As opposed to the really dumb ones that they put in the nuclear programs. Right, Bill? This guy had to sit there and, like, figure that out, you know? Out of our airspace, into the troposphere, up into the stratosphere, however the fuck it goes, right? Out to outer space, re-enters the atmosphere without blowing up right on the White House. Nothing but president, right? They're just sitting there talking shit. <laughs> What a fucking job, you know, and there's some other psycho, you know, they got cameras in space or some shit or somebody flying around with that direct TV satellite on the back of his plane, just falling around Brezhnev and Gorbachev trying to figure out where they're at. So they always have the exact coordinates. That's what it, that's the level of stress like Obama has and all these guys. That's why they age like 90 years because they know. The other team, right? They're going Billy Belichick on them. You know, they got cameras on you right on the top of your fucking head, wherever you go. You know, I'd be all paranoid. I'd be doing fucking head fakes as I was walking down the hall to the Oval Office, right? I wouldn't even go in the Oval Office. I'm not going in there. I would have, I'd have a double. I'd always be down in the basement, you know? Then years later after I died, you know, all my staff would start fucking coming out talking shit about me. He's a very fearful man. For all the bravado during his speeches, he spent the entire eight years of his presidency in the, the, well, we're not allowed to say how far down it goes, but let's just say there's one hell of a basement under that house. Um, do you even think he fucking lives there? There's no fucking way he lives there. He just lives there. You ever seen the White House? It's just right there, you know? He doesn't live there. I bet there's a fucking, 
you take an elevator. It's just like, uh, remember Steve Jobs used to make those fucking speeches at those nerd fests, right? They go down there, you know, he'd come out in his fucking jeans and no belt. And he just, uh, ah, look at this. Look at it. Look what it does. And all the nerds are like, oh my God. Oh my God. I think that's what, and then he just fucking leave. Nobody knew where he lived. Right? But why does Bill Gates have a more reclusive fucking house? Is the house reclusive, Bill? Does it does the house make the choice <laughs> to be introverted? Whatever. He has he has a fucking house no one can get to. I can't get anywhere fucking near Bill Gates' house, right? But the White House, you can walk right up to the gate. Hey! Obama! Right? You can come right up to it. Is this going to put me on a list? Um, I bet, what's his face? I bet Bill Gates has got a fucking, a goddamn, you know, you remember that, that Star Wars thing that Reagan wanted to put up for fucking, you know, the Robert Parrish nuclear warhead rainbow shot from the Kremlin, right? I bet he's got those for, like, drones. I bet he hates drones. He's all pissed off. How dare you send my technology back at me? I think he's an evil motherfucker, and that's why he gives away all that money. You know what I mean? It's weird. He's like he's like the sociopath with the heart of gold. He's kind of like Dexter, right? But if he was like into laptops rather than just cutting up people. But it's only the bad people. I was never able to get past that.